So, got another unboxing. This is the Outcast 6S. Now, I do have an Outcast, but it's a 10th anniversary, so I don't have this one. So, I'm going to get this one unboxed. And uh, I don't even know what color this thing is or what it even looks like. I just saw it and, like, I need a. Uh, I need a regular outcast instead of an anniversary edition. So I wonder if this thing has color on it. Let's see. Outcast. Matte orange. There we go. I haven't seen the matte orange. It must be that one. But let's take a look at this thing. See what it looks like. Because. I haven't seen one yet. There we go. Matte Orange Outcast. Success stickers. It's kind of a... Well, it kind of looks glossy to me. But definitely gonna have to get rid of some boxes. We're starting to stack up the last couple of uh, couple of weeks has been a RC frenzy at my house. I've just uh, RC after RC lately. It's been insanely windy out here. Woke up this morning to all this wind. But pick this up. outcast that I had the 10th anniversary so I really liked it and uh, which is right there really liked the body liked everything and I thought it was just a body difference on uh, on the two different outcasts and I was like well that's not a big deal I can go ahead and uh, get another body if I destroy it too bad but come to find out there's a lot of differences between this RC and that RC so let's take a look so as you see red shocks all the way around this one has got silver Arma apparently doesn't do silver and then it's got the silver shock tower braces where they come black so some pretty cool differences there and then the chassis is another one as you see this is all black and this one's got the 10th anniversary 2009 to 2019 decoration going on so yeah those are the differences on top of the special body that they have for the 10th anniversary so I figured I'd pick up another Outcast because I actually really like this RC. So now we can go out and bash with a couple of them. And uh, I'm probably going to get the silver one too, just so you know. I've been looking around trying to locate one um, in my area. Um, the hobby store I normally go to, they were sold out of Outcast. So I found this at a different one called Robin's Hobby. Burbank, California. So I drove out there today and uh, and picked that one up. I did see the new ADS Creighton over there. Uh, you know, they're taking pre-orders on them at that store, but couldn't give me a delivery date, which is real funny. Not like it matters because I already have one secured and I was going to do a whole unboxing of it and, and do a walk around with it, but YouTube is flooded with them. 
So I'm not going to do anything with the ADIS uh, Creighton until I get it in my hands and, uh, and do my running videos. There's just so, and I might not even do that. There's just so much on the internet right now with that Creighton. Uh, I can't watch another video. And I'm definitely not going to make another video. So I love this Outcast. So we're going to give this Outcast a rip today. Uh, probably both of them because I like them. And then I've got the Fox over here that I'm going to go ahead and give it a rip. And then I'm going to fire up my DBXL um, gas powered one. And I'm going to give that a rip today. So those are my plans for today. So expect a video on that stuff. But just wanted to do this quick unboxing of uh, the new little that's a member of our band right now. So um, should be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know you guys have seen uh, this RC all over the internet. So um, I love it. I think it's a great RC. Uh, it's really fun. And I'm an orange freak, so I had to pick it up. And I am looking for the gray one. So when I locate that, hopefully I can find it this weekend. I'll pick that one up as well. Sorry for the wind. But uh, here's the outcast that I own. We've got the orange, got the brown, 4S outcast, and the 10th anniversary outcast. So just wanted to uh, do a walk around with these RCs. I am looking for the silver to complete this, but uh, here we go. Here's the here's the Arma lineup, and yes, I did bash the 10th anniversary. Most of the guys are collecting them. I don't uh, leave them sit on the shelf without running. Them. So, but uh, I do have another one that's in the box that I haven't opened and uh, I won't open not until that RC is in pieces but uh, I do have another one and I am looking for the silver one so just want to show you guys uh, this little lineup see what you guys think uh, I'm really happy with the outcast even the 4S, once I get the steering servo on that thing, even though I repaired the servo, it's a fun RC, even on 4S. But the 6S, no comparison. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about taking that little chassis, and I've got this little setup right here. Got a, got a brand new BLX 185 with XT90s on it. And a brand new motor. So, went ahead and picked those things up. So, I think I'm going to throw that in the Outcast. The little 4S Outcast. So, they'll all be 6S. Wonder how that's going to look. Even though I got two 6S Outcast, I think it'll be fun running the little 4S smaller chassis on 6S. It definitely will, uh, will flip. Hopefully, the RC will stay together. But let me know what you guys think. Should I throw it on 6S or leave it on 4S? Comment below. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate all the new subscribers. And uh, let's get it done. I'll get some more RCs up in here. Even though I've got around, I think, 60 now. Um, there's more coming every day. So anybody in California know where there's a 6S... Uh, Outcast, Silver, um, I'm looking for one. Let me know. I appreciate it, guys. See you on the next one.